All right, so let's start here. We've got the fifth house. So the fifth house is the um, covers a number of aspects. It's, it is your creativity, it's your individuality, your um, your stamp, your flair on things, um, and um, you know uh, your originality as well. Um, so it covers all of that. Uh, whether this is a profession for you or it's just something that you use every day and everything that you're doing, we are all creative, but not all of us are artistic. So um, just take it as it resonates for you. Um, but it also covers um, um, having fun, recreational activities, anything to do with that. Now, this can be sporting, um, but it can also be anything that is enjoyable for you, any kind of activity, uh, as I said, whether it's physical or something that you're doing with your hands. Um, and, and you've got Sarasvati here, so you, many of you may be artistic. So even if you aren't, you don't think you're particularly good, it's important to do these activities so that you push yourself into the present moment it helps to keep you grounded um, and then that also um, raises your vibration because you're doing something creative something artistic whatever it may be um, it covers all of that this card also covers children so whether you have children or you are involved with children or it could be that um, you are needing to access your inner child in some way and um, it can also cover love affairs uh, that may be relevant and uh, also there's, uh, there's a risk element to this house. So um, this can just be about taking a risk of some sort, but also it can be risk-taking activities like um, a stock market or gambling, something like that. So now we've got here um, Mars Force. So this is a um, this is a very uh, powerful card. Um, it's about action, taking action in some way. So uh, it, it's like um, you know you get that sudden urge to do something, or you are just really impatient to get something going. You really want to put something into action. Um, so it's your will. It's your it's it's the warrior energy in us. So this is about um, going after something, um, something that's important to you. So it's falling in the fifth house. So Take it as it resonates, whatever, whatever, um, uh, you know, um, act side of this that you're busy with. So it could be a creative project or it could be a love affair. Um, it could be something to do with your children. Um, it could also be about conceiving children, if that is the case, um, because it's a very passionate sign as well. Um, and um, all of those issues may come up, you know, the conception of children and also, um, you know, just being um, very romantic and passionate about something. Um, it's also, um, it may also apply to um, some other activity which you want to initiate, uh, something that you want to actually do. So it could be a, a recreational activity or it could be something to, which has got a little bit of a risk to it, however it comes in for you. Um, but so there may be a little bit of impatience here. Um, perhaps you've been, there've been a few delays or there's been a few things that have held you back and you're impatient to get this un going. Um, just be careful that you don't become, um, like a bulldozer, you know, pushing forward, um, very forcefully on things. Just take that into account. Measured action is the very best way to achieve this. So by all means, move things forward. Um, and, um, keep the fires going. Um, it's like tempered steel. So it's, 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 um, it's all about movement forward and it's about going after what you want, but do it in measured action steps. And, um, then you will be, um, really, um, you know, uh, effective with what you're doing. So avoid rushing, avoid, um, you know, quick temper, in, you know, impatience and forcing issues because that won't help you. You may have to cooperate with others. You may have to, um, you know, work with others to achieve what it is that you're, you're needing to achieve here. But it is really that, that power and that force. Um, and it needs strong reins, uh, to get the most out of it. Um, we've also got Freya Bold here. So there's definitely uh, like a chariot, uh, you know, energy. So this is a very forward motion energy. So something that you're wanted, wanting to do in this uh, in this house is, is getting the go ahead here. And um, it's saying, Freya is saying, be bold, unleash your adventurous side, take risks and be daring. So as I said, this is the risk house. So there may be something that you want to initiate or something you want to do, whether it's a creative project or to do with children um, or um, um, a 
love affair uh, or it could be an activity, whether it's a physical activity or some other activity. That's something that's enjoyable and fun and um, and that you want to do. That's something that is important for you. Um, but it could also be other activities associated with risk or it could just be something that is risky for you, something that you haven't tried before or you would like to initiate. And being a Scorpio, you are a, a fixed sign. So changes and doing new things is not always um, something that you naturally gravitate towards. You're always going to um, be more of a concentrator of energy. So this is saying that action is required in this case. There's something in this house which is requiring you to move forward. Um, but do it, as I said, in a um, in a very um, make sure the reins are on. But but um, th and that's to stop things getting out of control. By all means, use that power and that force to move you forward. But, um, you know, enjoy, enjoy the energy, enjoy that power. Um, if it's a love affair or some other, something else that's uh, associated with that, this can be about taking, uh, taking action and being very fl flirtatious, very outgoing, very vivacious. All of those energies may be coming in and maybe that's new for you. Maybe that's a new way of being for you. But it's saying be adventurous. Be adventurous, try different things, be daring, you know, ga gather your courage and try different things. And, um, this is all about, um, a movement. Um, Freya is, um, uh, this is where the, the word Friday comes from. So, um, she's all about bold action. She's got wings on her helmet. So it's about something taking off for you, something that you want to initiate, something that you want to push forward. Um, and, um, gathering your courage in order to do that. And um, you've got a very um, uh, intuitive person next to you. So use your skills, use your, you know, use your um, your feminine wiles if you are a feminine or if you're a masculine, use your power to push you forward and to actually initiate this action. Um, so now we've got here a fourth house. So, um, so this is normally associated with... Uh, home, family, roots, your foundation, you know, where you've come from. So it can actually be your physical home, so the actual structure, or um, it can be where you are currently residing. It can be the atmosphere in the home or the um, people in your home, um, but it can also be um, your connection to your roots, your foundation, your family, your history, your ancestry, your ethnic identity, whatever is your situation. So all of that um, comes in with the fourth house. So now it's saying that um, if you've changed something recently or you are wanting to change something uh, re regarding that, um, you've got stability coming in here. So you could be initiating something to do with your home. You may be um, wanting to buy or purchase a home or you may be moving home or you may be expanding your home in some way. If it's creating a family and bringing a child in, then that will naturally um, affect your home life. Um, but it could also be just moving or uh, changing something within your home environment. Um, but it can also be uh, possibly re-establishing connections with family or um, visiting your, your um, you know, where you grew up. Um, there's lots of ways that this uh, can come in, but it can also be about establishing a legacy or a, a firm, a beautiful foundation for your family or for yourself, you know, as it may be. So this can literally be land or property or something like that, or real estate, um, or it could be about building a foundation for yourself. So whether you are actually working towards purchasing a home or moving home, and you're now gathering all the resources that you need in order to do that. So Earth Element Stability says that stability is coming in for you. Um, and this is about laying foundations. This is about accumulation of wealth. Um, and in some cases, it may be material things. Don't go too overboard with the material things uh, because they can also slow you down or, or, or uh, clog up your energy. So make sure that what you are doing is going to be um, helpful and um, um, and enjoyable for you. So it's creature comforts and um, a few luxuries, but it must be a functional home and it must um, serve you um, and 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 help you in uh, you know to to create a loving and happy environment. So all of these elements coming in. Um, it can also be about you may have to go through a little bit of a testing time. Perhaps it's to do with the moving or it's to do with something else to do with family issues, um, you know, establishing things, sorting things out or creating this legacy or this foundation. Um, you may have to go through a, a few testing times in order to bring it about. Um, or you could just be going through um, a few changes and, um, you know, there's lots to see to and, and deal with. Um, it's also about... Um, 
you know, making a few changes here and there. With the earth element, you don't want to, as I said, you don't want to become too stuck in outdated views or fixed views or um, attitudes which which simply don't change or you or you don't like to change do bring fresh energy in um to to lift you up and to to enable you to move forward and try different things this is about taking action of some kind and you may have to try new avenues you may have to try new things you may have to look in different places um just come out of your comfort zone a bit um, um and, and 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 explore a little bit and don't be afraid to do that um so that you you know you actually are uh, exploring all your options. That's really uh, the kind of energy that comes in. So money matters may come in here, um, but it's a, a, about the accumulation of wealth and um, and even material things, as I said, but also like your creature comforts. It can also be about the rising up of sensuality in some way, and this may be re related to a love affair or to your um, your person that you may be involved with, you know, building a nest, a home together and enjoying your creature comforts, enjoying the sensual pleasures of being with another person. All of these things may be coming in uh, for you as well. So whatever changes are coming in for you or whatever it is that you're trying to initiate here, Artemis Guardian, um, you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. So what this is saying is, is that, um, you know, you, whatever prayers and requests you have sent to your angels or to heaven um, have been heard and are, um, you know, you've been given the protection. Your family has been given protection. So don't um, put energy into things uh, or to worries or concerns that are going to pull down your energy or prevent you from growing, all right? What you want to do is know that they are protected. You know, your nearest and dearest are protected. Um, but now you must focus your attention on spreading optimism or your cheerful attitude or just your grace and your courage um, or your steadiness, whatever is your thing, whatever is your your flair or your individual talent or your um, way of going about things, because it's about spreading love and light to others. So whether this is to your family or to other people that you're associated with um, in your home life, this is about um, spreading that love and light outwards. So just a, you know, a hug or a, a gentle presence from you or an encouraging word from you um, will brighten somebody else's day. Somebody else may be having a tough day or going through difficulty um, manifesting these changes or going through these changes to do with the home. So there may be things happening and just your, in, your presence and your encouragement and your steadiness may very well just brighten their day so focus on that and don't put your energy into worries and concerns and get dragged under for things like that because you've asked you know for protection and if you haven't yet then do so send up a prayer a request for help and for um, protection and um, it will be given So now we've got here um, sixth house routine. So the sixth house deals with your domestic routines um, around um, your home, your you know your your lifestyle and your health and your diet, everything to do with that, um, your well being, your your lifestyle around your your you know your health and your diet and and how you're getting on with your life. Now this may very well be um, bringing in a physical activity which you want to start or something that you you're initiating now. It could very well be a, a physical activity you're getting involved with whether it's yoga or sport, whatever it may be. Um, um, or it could, it, it's also about your work routines. Um, so this is about your help, your, your, um, your daily routines around that. Now, this can be work projects, workplace, work colleagues. Um, it's also mastery of your craft. So whatever it is that you do, some people may not be going out to work. They may be working from home or home or be self-employed or whatever it is. It's about mastery of your craft. So apply it to your situation. Um, it is also the house of pets. So that may be relevant if you are changing homes or you're increasing something or you, or you, you know, um, expanding your family in some way. Maybe that comes in for you. So it's your daily routines around um, those issues uh, coming in. Now it's saying here that um, solar eclipse revolution. So there is some sort of shift or change coming in for you, whether this is something going on in your workplace and then it, it sort of comes over into your home life or however it is, 
or whether it's um, a change of direction within your career that can happen or within your workplace or the work that you are doing. It can also be obviously a change within your health and your diet and your well-being, your lifestyle. There may be some big change that you need to bring in. Um, and with the uh, Damara guiding children, um, your children or children around you or children that you're associated with or that you are bringing into the world may very well be affected by that. It is also about the inner child. So we talked about that already in the fifth house. So it's being reiterated here again. So something to do with that. Um, so solar eclipse is always about a revolution of some kind. So this is about making changes yourself or changes are going to come in for you to move you out of a, perhaps a rut or a comfort zone. Now, as I said with you, with the earth element stability, it's possible that some of you may be in a bit of a rut or maybe in a situation where you, you are so fixed in your environment that you um, are afraid to take steps to change anything or try new things. So just, so just be aware of that. Um, so you need to be flexible. You need to adapt as well to the circumstances. So something could come in quite quickly for you. It could be quite abrupt. Um, it could shift you, as I say, out of your comfort zone. So you may be, be feeling very uncomfortable while this change is going on. Um, or it could be that you um, need to dive in and fix change or create something uh, from an existing situation. And on the other side of that will be, it will be much better for you. But ultimately, this card is always about self-mastery. So whatever changes you need to bring in, whether it's health and diet and well, lifestyle related or whether it's work related, um, uh, it's about um, approaching these changes that are coming in for you uh, with optimism and with faith and knowing that you can handle it. All right. So it, it's your attitude is going to determine the transition that you go through to bring about this revolution or during the during the course of this revolution. So it's a complete rearrangement of some sort. So you could be changing homes, you could be relocating somewhere, and now you're starting a new position as well, um, and there's new routines around um, getting your children to work, uh, to school, or, or, or perhaps your homeschooling, or whatever the situation is here, there's, there's changes on board. And um, it's a case of just um, gaining some mastery of yourself, your emotions, your attitudes, your beliefs, the way you approach situations. Don't be so fixed that you can't be flexible, all right? Don't be so stuck in outdated views that you can't grow. Um, try new things. Be, be a bit more flexible. Um, bend with, you know, stand with your roots strong in, strongly in the ground, but bend and sway as things um, move around you. Um, and this is all, this is, the, this is the attainment of self-mastery. But really, it's your attitude and how you approach this. Welcome these changes because they're going to move you into, into a new space, a new place, or a new environment. And that's going to stimulate a lot of things for you. So be open and welcoming to these changes, even though they may feel a little bit uncomfortable initially while you're going through the transition. As I said, you've got Tamara here guiding children. So um, usually with the solar eclipse um, card, it affects, um, it usually affects uh, relationships. Um, and it can affect professions like your jobs or your careers. Um, and it can also affect um, um, movement uh, normally to do with the home. So like a relocation of some sort. All of these come in uh, with this. So now you've got here Tamara guiding children. You are good at helping, counseling and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. So if you are around children or if you have your own children or if you're bringing children into your life now, then all of this is self-explanatory. Um, tap into that, um, that uh, you, you know, your inner child. Uh, if you don't have access to children or you're not planning to have any children or you're not, you know, um, around them at all, then this is about going inward and um, allowing your inner child a voice. All right. So it could be that you are changing something to do with your work or it may be to do with your health and your lifestyle where you are um, actually um, changing the way you're doing things. And perhaps you are um, approaching things with a much more lighthearted um, and uh, playful uh, sort of uh, or adventurous uh, mindset, having welcoming joy into your life, allowing joy to manifest in your life. So don't be too heavy. Don't sink too much into heaviness. Try new things. Uh, be Live in the moment um, and be more flexible and adaptable. Tap into your inner child. Let your inner child have a voice. Um, listen to your inner child and um, access that 
um, that beautiful ability of children, which is um, to live in the moment, to be in the moment, to live in the present. Because when you're in the present moment, that is where you make all your decisions. You can't make it from the past and you can't make it in the future. You make it now in the moment. So tap into your inner child, nourish your inner child, do things which your inner child loves. And then, um, you know, if you've got children, then obviously tap into them from that point of view. You know, get busy with your children and and help them with their daily routines. And um, you know, you're all in this together. So do whatever you can to um, to 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 tap into that beautiful, joyful, um, staying in the present moment energy. And um, you know, bring in the healing, whether it's healing for your own children or for, for your inner child. Um, access that. And ask for help and guidance and explore, try new things and um, set up new routines or try or maybe even take a break from routines in some cases because the fifth house is about having fun. All right. So you may, you may need to do that. You may need to let go of a few rigid routines that you've had in place and have a little bit more fun. Tap into that childlike energy, be more playful and just do things which are um, which are perhaps a bit more energetic or um uh, or allow your children to be more energetic whatever it may be you know but there's there's recreation having fun and doing activities which are enjoyable so it's all about that